When it comes to storing and transporting your larger Magic the Gathering and other standard size trading card collections, sometimes we feel limited to the simplicity of just a cardboard box. But what about our cubes, our deck libraries, the large selection of our collection? This video will examine two options you may not have heard of, the REP collectible card carrying case, as well as the brand new Pirate Labs foam three row card tray. Different players and different collections have different needs. Which of these products is right for you? Let's take a look. Let's start with the REP collectible card carrying case. This is handmade with a wooden hard shell and wrapped in supported vinyl with a double latch for closure. The interior comes with two wooden horizontal slats, which are aligned to create three rows for your cards. There's also three removable cross slats which are included, and REP sells additional removable slats if you have need of them. The two main horizontal slats, however, are fixed in place. The case can hold a total of 3,500 cards unsleeved, 2,000 sleeved cards, or 1,680 double sleeved cards. This is obviously ideal for your cubes or deck libraries, but you can also store some deck boxes inside as well. Larger deck boxes like an Ultra Pro Tower won't fit, but boxes in the size of the Legion Iconic can be positioned inside. The top of the case is a quarter inch of foam lining. Quality is very high here. After all, we are talking handcrafted in the USA with real materials like wood. Now obviously you can use this however you like for your collection. To me, a product like this just screams cube. Maybe also deck library, but the way that you can adjust your dividers in here, the way that this is not really meant as a indestructible piece of transport, even though this is high quality wood, high quality materials. I don't think I'd want to take this as a carry-on on an airplane, shoving it into an overhead bin. This really strikes me as transport in my car, driving to my friend's house, maybe driving down to the local game store, but I wouldn't really want to bang this around too much. The biggest problem that I have with this case is actually the handle. Isn't this an odd placement of it? It makes for a kind of awkward carrying experience. I actually find myself just preferring to hold it with two hands because when I walk around with it like this, it just kind of feels awkward. And I think it's very strange that they didn't choose to position the handle here much more like a briefcase, which is where most handles are for carrying cases such as this. The latches are, of course, absolutely sturdy and solid, so I can't imagine that handle placement has anything to do with that. I think it was just a design choice. I'd really love to see for future expressions of this product the handle to move up to the top. Maybe it had something to do with the protruding hinges on the bottom. I don't know, but it does make storage of this at home a little strange because you can't place anything on top of it because of the protruding handle. And I really wish that this top surface had been flat so that I could, you know, stack something like a second one of these on top or place it sideways and slide it in to my bookcase. Price is $85, certainly positioning this on the higher end, but when I compare to similarly priced products such as the Grimmore and the Ultra Pro Cub 3, this is head and shoulders above that competition. Grade, B+. You know what? B++. Pirate Lab, maker of the previously reviewed Pirate Lab cases, have done something really clever. 
they've offered new options in interior foam carrying trays so that you as player can not only customize your carrying case, but also optimize it as well. This is the three row max capacity tray, which comes with eight dividers. Diligent viewers will remember when I reviewed the Pirate Lab cases, my only real problem was with the foam tray and its strange locked in selection of sizes. Now, if you want, you can have complete control with the maximum of interior storage space available. Made of high quality foam, this interior tray can be used to store loose cards or deck boxes of a variety of sizes. Rugged, durable, this is perfect for transporting up to 12 120 card boxes or 18 80 card boxes with dividers and is suitable to carry extra unboxed sleeved cards safely. Now obviously every player has lots of different sized deck boxes, every player is going to have different personal configurations. What you're looking at right here are all the deck boxes that I was able to fit in the previous Pirate Lab inner tray. And this is a picture of all the deck boxes I was able to fit in the new three row. And while your mileage may vary depending on which deck boxes you wish to transport and in what capacity, I feel pretty confident in saying that this has fully optimized the space available. The cases are removable and interchangeable with the basic Pirate Lab outer shell. You can purchase these separately or if you don't already have the Pirate Lab full case, you can choose which style of tray that you wish with your purchase. And I just absolutely love that they've given us so many options here. Options are always good. So this has just got me really excited because they've taken what was already an excellent product and amazingly made it even better. With this you have maximum optimization and you can literally just create the dividing sections wherever and however you'd like them. This is good for putting in loose cards, this is good for putting in boxes and deck boxes, and best of all these can be just taken out and stacked. In fact, I bet a lot of people don't even want the carrying case and might actually just want several of these foam trays for putting up on their shelves, stacking one on top of the other, and so forth and so on. I know I'm going to pick up a few more of these this holiday season. Now, the biggest question is what size deck boxes this can hold. And obviously, you are only going to be able to fit a certain size within this. Um, the typical Legion Iconic size, which many companies' deck boxes share this general standard size, fits perfectly. God, look at This has got a full deck in it, by the way. and the divider holds it up. I mean, that's pretty impressive right there. That's not even really something I think that it needs to be able to do. Things like the Ultra Pro uh, Dual, Pro Dual, sorry, deck box, that fits as well. Now the Satin Tower, I noticed that in their promotional pictures, the Satin Tower is not included, but I'm able to get it to fix. It does feel like you're straining. I mean, there you go. I just feel like you're straining it a little bit. It fits fine in the case. Uh, I can put a couple satin towers in here. The foam is strong, durable, but also malleable enough that a satin tower will fit. And the same goes, of course, for things like the Ultra Pro flip and tray. For me, having a stack of these on my shelf, in my closet, one for modern, one for standard, one for legacy, one for popper, what have you. That's really the appeal. And I like that this is modular in that way. I can have just one case for when I travel and it's like, okay, today we're going down to the shop for modern or over to my friend's house for popper. Let me grab that selection of decks or perhaps that cube for the day. I really like that aspect to this product as well. So what's the cost? The three row max capacity tray sells for $19.99. Now remember that does not include the outer case, which of course costs $59.99 by itself, or a nice deal of $69.99 if you'd like the foam insert of your choice included. Grade, 
this is a solid A. Ideal for home storage or transport, I really like what Pirate Lab is producing here. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to subscribe, like, share, or just by leaving a comment. And this video, like all my videos, has been brought to you by the kind support of our Patreon alums at Patreon. For even just $1 a month, you are doing so much to keep this channel running. So thank you.